Hi to all of you. Welcome to my home in West Hollywood. Come on in. So I got into skincare literally by accident because as a young man, I lived in Jakarta, Indonesia. I worked there as a show dancer and developed cystic acne. And when you have a problem like acne, you tend to look for solutions. And I fell under the magic spell of a brilliant esthetician named Lagita. And Lagita began treating my skin and I saw amazing results. And I, I thought, I can't go on kicking my legs high forever. So uh, within the, the following year, I went to school in London, where I studied cosmetic chemistry, face and body work, and certainly anything related to beauty. And what I loved about my new profession was that it was all about helping women and men look and feel their best. I started my clinic here in Los Angeles in 1975. So the big break really happened for me early on uh, in 1975 when the LA Times Sunday Magazine section decided to challenge me with a young lady who had cystic acne. Uh, they said, if you can improve, and really for that sake, cure Rita's acne in six weeks, we're gonna do a feature story about you. And I did. I was determined again to build this amazing relationship with Rita, engage her in every aspect of the step-by-step -step treatment, change her diet, uh, her lifestyle, and also build her self-esteem. She felt very insecure, less worthy. And six weeks later, she had flawless skin, and they did the after photos. The article came out on a Sunday, and that was at a time when newspapers were big. The LA Times was the second biggest newspaper in America. So, Suddenly, the phones rang off the hook, literally day in and day out. And then the celebrities began seeking me out. And uh, Barbara Streisand being the first big star that came my way, followed by people like Sylvester Stallone and Diana Ross from that generation. And then later on, we moved into Madonna. Uh, now today, it's Katy Perry, Charlize Theron, Mark Wahlberg, Hugh Jackman, Justin Timberlake. I think it was a huge plus for me being from Denmark, not alone did I call my first business Ola Henriksen of Denmark. I was very proud to be Danish. I hear time after time, wow, I heard that the Danes are the happiest people in the world. Is that true, Ola? And I mean, I can certainly vow to that Danes have an amazing spirit. There's a warmth, there's a love in the air in Denmark. Uh, so there's a lot in store. And I love the fact that life always is full of surprises and you have to embrace the good with the bad. Because even when you're successful, a lot of people think, oh wow, he has it made. Well, I think actually life is an amazing journey for all of us. It's all about our attitude, how we you know, tackle life. And I have it made in the sense that I have a very good attitude about life. I embrace it every day, I have a lot of fun. And I think humor, is one of the most important things to keep alive, to always be ready to laugh at yourself for that sake and laugh with all your best friends. I've had the best time in your company. I wish you all continued success, lots of love and happiness in your life.